What's your name? Hennessy. Hennessy, too? Romina. So big, bro. I think it's like one hour of work. Oh, that looks. Fill it for four minutes. Would you like to take a picture of the car? Look at this car. Welcome to Venezuela. It's gonna take me only 20 cents. Alright, buenos dias guys. Welcome to Isla Margarita in Venezuela. So right now I'm in like in El Centro, which is called Plaza Bolivar. This is my first time here, so I don't know what to expect. There is like many beaches on this island. It's my first day. Bro, I see so many people that looking at me like I am the only foreigner on this island, bro. Like I don't see anybody else here right now. This is right now El Centro. This is like where tourists don't come here. And <laughs> it's for me so funny because people warn me like I should be careful here with my stuff. Like I took two taxis to get here. And I would say, let's go, vamos. But here we go. I never thought one day I will be right now here in Isla Margarita. So now let's give it a try. What we're gonna find here in, on the Isla Margarita in El Centro. Buenas, como estás? So that's all dollar prices. Welcome to Venezuela. <laughs> Iraq. Yes. yes. Bro, the buses look so old, bro. Inside, they look like 1900, bro. Like, that's so crazy. Let's check it out what it's more here on the street. Bolivar. You can find this statue everywhere in Venezuela to go to the right side to go to the right side look at this car Oh, let me show you this. Bro, this island is way cheaper than Caracas. Look at that, so you wanna buy seven of these breads just for one dollar. I think your dollar can go so much far, bro.
Me parece un chiquitito eso. A la verde, eh. Guys, so now I'm gonna take a bus, it goes to Playa El Agua, and it costs only 15 bolivars. Alright, guys, so now I'm gonna wait seven minutes. It's gonna take me only 20 cents instead of taking like taxi, paying 15 dollars. So I don't mind, let me just take it and let's see how it is. <laughs> Look at that mountain there. Right? Alright guys, we made it and that was a 40 minutes ride, cost me only like 30 cents, not even half dollar, normally would pay with taxi uh, 15 dollars, so never took a taxi guys, just take a bus, you just arrive like 10 minutes later, but it's like for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Now guys, let's go, Playa El Agua, and yeah, look at that. Ah, 
está en YouTube, en YouTube. Sí, sí, okay. Yo trabajaba en YouTube. Sí. ¿Y su nombre? Enesi. Enesi, ¿y tú? Romina. ¿Tú? Ali. Vale, ok, Margarita. muchísimas gracias. Es la Margarita, ¿cierto? Es la Margarita. Falta mucho la cerveza. Ok, thank you very much. Bye bye, thank you. That was fun. Uh, that's cerveza Zulia. Oh, here we go, guys. Bro, it's huge. Like super, look at me behind me, bro. It's so big, bro. I think it's like one hour away. So this guy's like selling. What is he selling? I think he's selling the... Oh, that looks, that looks very good. What I see, a lot of people selling here the Yeah, look at that. How much is that? $15. So they pay like 10 and 15 dollars. That is like two options. Okay, muchas gracias. I don't see any tourists here. That's funny, like... Me guys, I'm right now in somewhere in Venezuela. Here, yeah, I'm the only tourist here, guys. I've been traveling since 14 years, so I visited 65 countries, and I've seen almost everything in my life. So, why do you think, guys, I am to the top one percent? So, once upon a time, two decades ago, I was a refugee. I was I'm born from Iraq, so from Iraq, we was going to Germany, and through that process, we went through various of countries, like such like Syria, Lebanon, Jordan. Greece, Turkey, you name it. And I was like for seven years refugee. I was living in the mountains and jungle. We was walking three weeks at night in the jungle. We was running up at that hill with no shelter. And my childhood was way different than your guys. If you want a full episode of guys, how I was a refugee, went to Germany and become a full-time YouTuber, exploring the world, just smash the like button guys. I will make a special episode like two hours long Normally I should write a book about that. <laughs> but anyway, long story short, two decades later guys, visited 65 countries, never worked for anybody else in, in my entire my whole life, and do it since three years, YouTube almost four years, and it's almost like a hobby, it's not a work. So what is what top 1% guys? So top 1% it's, it's not only about having like cars, big house, a lot of money, it's all about experience. To understand what his life is because God gave you only one life and this one life you should take care of it and you don't know how to use it because life is not only about going one time to Thailand couple countries here and there Paris going to managing Colombia from the United States just to go smash women and then go back drinking beer watching football working nine to five and that's like normal boring life so when you travel so much you're gonna experience all these cultures from Africa to Asia and then you have to feel it, you have to go, you have to be there in person to understand what is life because you cannot only imagine it on uh, TV yeah I know people in Africa are dying oh I know in Asia uh, are poor country, no 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 you guys have to be there, you have to feel it in person you have to suck the energy from all this nature and uh, all this environment and all this places you go then you're gonna understand what is life all about guys these people working 12 to 13 hours just selling street food just to survive people in Africa working 10 hours just to collect water uh, nine people living all together in one bedroom like I used to be used to be like when I was a refugee and then when you go like you rich countries in Europe you see people like 
with high high end clothes everyone is wearing clothing but then you're going to start comparing these people's life with another people's life and then you're going to compare their life with your life and then you're going to see yo i'm doing something wrong or i'm doing right for example in my case when i compare my life to other people i never can get depressed anymore so what does that mean why why i cannot get depressed anymore so when i was there when i saw people how they are living people like dubai everyone is rich and yacht and blah 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 but they think life is only about having lamborghini showing around getting women that's not life bro this is not what god gave you to get alive this is not the life god created this beautiful world i mean look at that all the other galaxies and we cannot reach it and universe and other exoplanets why is it so perfect guys because god created this for us as a gift and you should explore it it's not all about women cars money so that's why guys i think i belong to the top 1% people in the world because not many people travel like over 50 countries not just like traveling vacation no to barrios jungle woods when you when you going to see everything in life then you're going to understand what it's what is your life about so also the war guys the work is you have to work be independent you cannot work for somebody else you have to be self employed for the rest of your life so i don't know like guys there always ways like me like look at that if i don't have youtube i will go back to video editing if i don't have video aside if i don't make video editing anymore i will go to crypto trading if i don't crypto trading i will go back to my investment and if i don't go back to my investments i'm going to do real estate and the list goes on i have always options and choice to make sure i don't work for anybody else so that's what what should you do guys try to make your time valuable and suffer for a little but later you got to be rewarded i'm only 31 years old traveled almost all countries i always wanted to visit for me it's missing only 10 more countries which i'm going to finish this year and then that's it then i finished all places uh, all countries i always wanted to visit and i've also like top 100% bucket list i almost finished 70 so 30 more to go and then i finished my top 100 bucket list destinations so do me a favor guys take actions listen to yourself the only person you should be worry it's you nobody cares about you nobody going to come to help you nobody going to come to make your life better only if you take actions and change your life and then at one point you will see i made it in life and stop chasing women depressed just going every time to colombia to thailand or to brazil or whatever or dominican republic and you think you are a cool guy you are just a loser stop jerking off stop doing all this bull- going to smashing women that's not life that's not life another thing guys the world is safer than you think it's not dangerous because people think oh dangerous he get drunk he got killed he goes blah 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 look at me 13 years nothing happened to me around the world because i'm not a fool i know what i'm doing and most of you people guys are a fool and they don't know what they're doing that's why every time i hear stories in medellin colombia people getting drugged killed kidnapped whatever because using always this online applications and blah 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 and you name it these people are make a conclusion guys try to be self employed and then just go i mean don't think twice or oh, what's going to happen to me if i go there if i get sick if i get robbed what's going to happen with me if i land blah 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 no just book a ticket and go far away as and you're going to see what's going to happen with you trust me it's going to change your life you will get to that point you don't need to work anymore for anybody else and you work only for yourself so with that being said guys thank you very much for watching hopefully guys you took this lessons seriously and i hope i can change many lives out of you there guys and yeah guys thank you very much for watching let me turn the camera it's been a fun talking to you
Now we are guys on the playa El Jaca. That's uh, one of the best play uh, beach here in, on the island. It's also the most crowded one. It has a lot of vibes. So compared to Playa del Agua, which was like so empty, this is like more with life. Chilling. It's not like so much people. So I think this area is like more the empty one. And here you can see these people. like palm trees here and they look actually very nice There's like so many local people bro, I don't see any any foreigners, no. But what I notice, I don't see any any hustlers when I try to sell you something.
Let me see what I see inside. I don't. Is there any restaurants? I think the restaurant is. Es un todo de mar. Sí, es de fruto de mar. Sí, se llama caracol. Caracol. Arrechón, sí, el caracol, arrechón. Es bueno. ¿Quieres probar uno para que veas? No, no, no. Prueba, yo, yo, y eso es. Todo eso tiene curso, caracol. ¿Cuánto cuesta eso? Este sale en 10 y hay uno en 7. 10 dólares. Sí. So that's 10 dólares. Mm -hmm. The end of the road. I don't know if I'm gonna come inside, but as you can see, just like locals, and that's it. Yeah. There is people getting massage, but I think I'm gonna go eat something, guys. So I just got this food right now. This is like a fish with vegetables, avocado, rice. And sauce and yeah, muchas so gracias. That was good. I would say, let's go. If you go to like Cartagena, Colombia, you see just like people, uh, like, fill it for foreigners, like literally, like with foreigners, like, if you go to Cartagena, Isla Baru, if you go to uh, Boca Grande, if you go to uh, whatever place it is. So guys, as you can see, it's like very beautiful here. I don't have any problems here. And every time, I think, I think, the, like next week I'm gonna try to get a place here and stay here just like for one more week just in German enjoy my time
So guys, this gentleman, they gave me just this that is well and run. And I'm gonna try it out. Normally I don't drink, but here we go. Alright guys, so I just met beautiful people here and they just wanna take me okay. with them. And we're gonna go now to Port Lama. <laughs> Picture with her. Contigo. 